All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and also here in Twitch chat. Um, we are playing Mardu Aristocrats here, built around tons and tons of new cards. In fact, um, basically everything is. Uh, I think the only cards that are not Ravnica Legion's cards are just Midnight Reaper, Legion War Boss, and Gruesome Menagerie in our main deck. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So what we're trying to do here is we're just basically putting a bunch of cheap creatures that uh, we don't really mind if they die kind of thing on the battlefield um, and make it so our opponent's removal isn't as good. Um, if our when our creatures die, like if we have Midnight Reaper in play, we get to trigger those and draw some more cards. If we have Judith in play, we can ping some things. Um, we have Sacrifice Outlets with Pitiless Pontiff that can sacrifice our creatures and give Death Touch and Indestructible, so it's a really hard card to block um, that we get to kind of keep on crashing in with. Uh, we have Priest of the Forgotten Gods that if we sack two other creatures, um, it does a lot of things. It can... Uh, we get to draw a card, add two mana to the mana pool, that maybe we make a Gruesome Menagerie cheaper, um, and make our opponent sacrifice a creature and lose two life. And then we have Gruesome Menagerie also, that whenever we sacrifice all our things, that we can get them back. It is a five mana card, which is a little, you know, it's a little much. I'm playing 23 lands here, um, so five so five mana cards a little much. Um, but Priest does help that out. And also, if we're just sitting with a bunch of Menageries in our hand, we can kind of uh, we can use Rick's Mighty Reveler to cycle through some cards as well. So we got the Shield Mare on the sideboard for for the red decks. You know, like it's it's a card that comes back with Gruesome Menagerie um, and gains some life. You know, like the the Mono Red Burn decks could be a little tough. So that's what that's what Shield Mare is in, and then Plague Mare for token for like Mono White Aggro or token based strategies. Drill Bit and Theater Horrors for like control decks. Uh, and Mortify and Bedevil is a couple removal spells um, if we need those. I don't think I, I need more sack outlets, honestly. I think just our, just attacking the opponent and then blocking is like uh, certainly a good way for creatures to die. Thanks, Aches. So there we go. Um, mana base-wise, kind of threw the mana base together quickly. Let's see. Do I have enough black sources? That's actually, maybe I'm a little worried about that. So that's 6, 13, 14. And I could certainly use another black source. Um, white, we have 8, 11, 14. I could probably use another black source. Red, we're at um, 15. And I guess black is more important than red. So actually, I should probably have two swamp, one mountain. Yeah, I should probably have two Swamp, one Mountain. Actually, I should probably make that change. All right. Um, then actually, let's go with another... Let's go with one more Dragon Skull Summit over one of the Isolated Chapels. So that still leaves us with 13 white for our two white cards. And then we have Rick's Mahdi that can kind of help us out, too, if we need to. All right, let's try that. Shield Mirror may be kind of tough to cast. All right, we're going to win some packs today also. Because it's Sunday, so that resets. Now, I think we need to play more multicolor spells for... Um, For Hero of Precinct One, I started with Hero of Precinct One in the in the deck. Um, all right, let's let me update the, the deck list on Stream Decker with those mana changes we just made. Play first, we're so lucky. Um, I went with the third summit over the th third chapel. Ah, uh, a lot of lands. Definitely too many lands. We have one drop, two drop on the play. I think I'll keep it, and then hopefully by turn three, we you know we start drawing some creatures. You know, like any of our three drops would be really good draws here, or um, any of our three drops or uh, Rick's Mighty Reveler that can cycle. 
Let me fuck your boyard, boyardy. Um, what kind of deck am I worried to run into at this one? Honestly, I'm not exactly sure. You know, like you know, we just don't haven't really played it yet, so honestly, not not too sure. We'll kind of see. All right, first draw stuff was a blank, but our opponent couldn't handle the pressure. So they played they played basic planes. Basic planes is you know kind of telling me like plague mare could be kind of good. Sometimes just one drop, two drop is good enough. Um, Plague Mare, you know, is feeling like it could be good against basic planes. But, of course, basic planes could be control deck as well. You know, it could be like Jeskai control. It's kind of the tough thing about our opponent uh, conceding like that. So we don't really know exactly how to sideboard. So maybe we just don't sideboard. Now they go their game one plan again. You know, good news is we won the game. And we won it very easily. Bad news is we don't really know what to do for games two or three. I kind of think like they're a control deck. But I think we may be okay, like, you know, I think we're going to be okay against control. Anyway. Uh, what? Senate Guild Mage. Hmm. Well. It's not, not a card I expected and constructed. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to have Priest of Forgotten Gods in play right now. So, like, next turn I can play other Tithe Taker and activate Priest of Forgotten Gods. Um... Hmm. Could also play that. No, I think probably other Tithe Taker is better. Target any number of players. Any number of target players each loses two lives. So you have to target them. And then we sack these two creatures. And then with our black black and our mana pool, um, we could cast like Pontiff and Fiend and have mana up to be able to save Pontiff from like a some kind of sweeper. Could also just play Reveler plus Pontiff and not and just like went and discarded. But we'll keep the I like keeping the mana up to save Pontiff. Priest of Forgotten Gods from the very from the the most recent set, Ravnica Allegiance. Hmm. That was a really weird match. But it didn't didn't do too much. Didn't put much of a fight. That was a pretty easy one. Guess a, an easy one to start the the day off.
All right, we're on the draw. We can probably draw some lands. Yeah, even just one land, we get to min get to Midnight Reaper. Um, and then if we get a red source, we got the Reveler Judith turned on. Hey, Boa. Looks like our opponent's playing the same deck that we just faced. I'll just cast the Pontiff since it costs two. We have, um, you know, we have another one if it would get countered. Uh, right above you, Zoe. Somebody did the deck right above you, so just like immediately before you. All right, we'll see if we have a tougher one here. It looks like we're going to. I did sealed a lot the first couple days. Today we just started. Um, just started the stream today, and just kind of planning on constructed today. Uh, that's playlist. Come on, lands. Where are you at? Um, I think there may be a command for this. I think I saw someone do a command for that. Maybe not. Basically, Aristocrats was a deck previously in Magic's history that did not care about creatures dying as much. Um, so this could be Settle the Wreckage. Which I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind the lands if it's Settle the Wreckage. I want to just play this Reveler. I like just keep a mana up for the Pontiff. Reveler can, um, you know, get cycle away like maybe another Pontiff. Actually, I should probably discard one of these three drops. We don't need it. three three drops, which is the three drop I want the least. Probably Midnight Reaper at this point. Yeah, the, the chain animation's for Spectacle. And we just played our Spectacle card in our hand, so we won't keep getting that. Oh, uh, no, we got Gutterborns in the graveyard. That'll, that'll keep getting us this, the Spectacle animation. Midnight Reaper could potentially have us find lands. They also may have like exile things. Um, at this point, though, I think I'm like, let's just go war boss now. Oh, they're gonna syncopate for one. Oh, quench. Dang it. Well, now our pontiff is vulnerable. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hold that thought. Hmm. If we draw a land and we can play Judith and uh, Footlight Fiend, we could. Uh, could have enough damage for the to kill the Teferi. Hmm. Interesting. Expecting that to get countered. 
Actually, I'm just attacking them. Um... So I'm keeping the mana up to protect Pontiff. So the Witch says, hey Todd, finally ranked to Mythic. Still playing with your Grixis Legends. Thanks. Dude, that's awesome. Way to go, Son the Witch. Have you put any new cards in there? Yeah, our Pontiff really did a, a whole lot of work. Much more malleable than people think. If we have a Gruesome Menagerie Resolve, I think that's kind of game. Oh, I should be playing Judith first. Right. I'll just play double gutter bones here. Can I not play the other one? Oh, auto tap, what are you doing? Uh auto tap. You're killing me. Keep up the pace. I haven't had any updates to Grixis to Fairy. Uh oh. Alright, come on, land. Wait, even land. Yeah, main deck Dawnbringer? That was a card I was not expecting at all. Or play around. I did not play around that at all. Hmm. This is just going to get countered, right? They shocked in a land here. And I don't have another mana to be able to Gris Menagerie plus sacrifice something. I might as well try. I'm not done yet. Hmm. All right, the backup six. This game is most likely lost. Most likely lost. Ugh, I probably could have won that game. Probably missequenced somewhere early in the game. Okay. So I certainly won all these drill bits um, and theater of horrors. Um, and I think I want the bedevils also. They could just, they could kill Lyra. I think Lyra is going to be a pretty big problem. So we'll have those. Um, that's a lot of cards though. It's a lot of three mana cards also. These Gruz of Menageries are probably just not going to resolve. Maybe I don't play Menagerie. 
Gutter Bones is a one mana card. And I want the one mana card for Gruesome Menagerie. That's why I'm playing it over Reassembling Skeleton. Also it hits a lot harder. It's more, more aggressive. One mana and you get two power. Priest. Yeah, a Priest can come out. It is good against Dawnbringer. But we'd also have to have like all the other creatures in play as well. Menagerie may just may just be the card that comes out for like theater. Theater is kind of like the similar type of thing, but it's just cheaper. Hmm. Drill bits are basically one drops. Let's take Hmm. That's 63. I mean, I think I just have to trim on three drops. Unfortunately. Judith. Maybe actually Fiends are like a card I could trim some. Yeah, actually, Footlight Fiend, without having Gruesome Menagerie, it's not going to do a whole lot of damage as like a card. But I had to do some quick sideboarding there. And I think I took out two Judas and one Fiend, I think. This is certainly a good hand. We got one drop, two drop, three drop. This is where Fiend can really shine, just getting in early. Fiends are great with Drill Bit, absolutely. It does certainly make Drill Bit a lot better card. And the Reveler gets to filter away one of these lands. I think we'll just make that the Godless Shrine. Hmm. These are the lands we needed last game. I don't really want my Theater of Horror to get quenched. It's like the only card in our, you know, it's the only card in our hand. Dude, this is the kind of card that we just, just play into, you know, like... It'll be a lot worse if we wait on it. So that one will go ahead and get countered. I've been using Light the Stage main deck on in my Aristocrats deck, and it's been running pretty good. Yeah, I could certainly see that. Light the Stage is a good card. That's certainly a good idea. Flooding out this game. Sorry, I'm late. No time for a break. Hmm. Come on. No, it's just better to attack its Teferi. I'm getting too old for this. I don't want to attack Teferi, but it's better to it's better to though. Alright, good, no negate. Cause Teferi if we don't attack Teferi, Teferi can just like tux theater of horrors, you know, like they just use removal on these things like that. Teferi tux theater of horrors and we're in just a, a huge, huge truck. We're in huge trouble. We We're already in huge trouble, though, you know, just, um, you know, drawing nine lands and four spells.
We just couldn't hit our third land drop at all the first game, and this game is just all lands. Kind of thing just happens sometimes in Magic. Opponent had a good hand. Being able to play Teferi immediately on turn 5, that's pretty good. Um, I ping them with Theater, I get to play Pontiff. Theater can target Teferi, yep. Play the Pontiff while I can. Dang, Mr. Nobi. At an RPTQ, I drew nine lands in a row in game three of a one and in. That is the like an awful time for that to happen. Awful time. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Should have another Teferi. Yep. All right, looks like we're gonna be one and one. This isn't a fight you can win. Hurry! I think this is a matchup. I think this is a good matchup for us. You know, like these games. Yeah, like you don't win all the time with good matchups. These games were really rough mana wise. Um, but I think I think we would certainly win a good portion of those matchups. You know, if you play it a hundred times. Hey, Randrock, thanks. Yeah, I'm excited for this uh, deck list. Kind of overall, I. Th I think it may not be that great in, in other aggro mirrors kind of thing. Um, we do certainly need more lands if we want to get if we want to play like Gruesome and Andre on five. Um, but I also kind of want some other threats first, so I'm gonna go ahead and ship it to the bottom. Can you run some sweepers in the sideboard since you have recursion? Definitely, yeah, that's that's certainly a possibility. This could certainly be a, a you know, I didn't really consider that too much. But it could certainly be like a Deafening Clarion deck where, you know, like you have like a sweeper with that or you can just use the lifelink part. This deck could certainly use that. Um, I haven't, I haven't played against Rakdos Burn yet, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not, I'm not sure how exactly it holds up. Gutter Snipe is a, is a real problem for us. I don't really have the removal for it. Um, yeah, Gutter Snipe can certainly kill us. Alright, next turn we get to to Menagerie our creatures back. Oh, they just let that resolve. Alright, 
All right, let's get rid of Isolated Chapel. Man. I do like if, if Pontiff dies. Um, let's sack another creature. Yeah, we cannot sacrifice it. So now, yeah, now we should have the 1-2-3 the drop. I would rather have Reveler in the graveyard. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sacrifice Reveler. I'd rather Reveler be in the graveyard um, to be able to get back with Menagerie. But now, now, like next turn, we have five mana for Menagerie, plus we have the extra one for Pontiff. One, two, three. And that lands a really good card to discard and draw. Oh, it's not even a May? Oh, so it's not even a May. I, I'm going to have to make sure I. Realize that's not a May. Okay. Yeah, War Boss next turn, we're just gonna be able to start making tokens that our um Menagerie would be able to sacrifice. Alright, we need shield mares in here. Um and then I think I just take out Midnight Reaper. Right, like how it deals damage to us. That's probably not not great. Ugh. Even though those extra cards were nice. Hmm. Plague Mare can eat like Viachino Pyromancers. They have those. Gutterbones and Footlight Fiend aren't so great against Chain Whirler. Our deck's kind of not so great against Chain Whirler. Should probably have some Mortifies in the deck, maybe even Bedevils. Maybe just have some removal for Chain Whirler and uh, like Chain Whirler Frenzy, Gutterbones. Certainly, maybe should be playing um, some Lava Coils or something just a tad bit cheaper. No, we're not only just playing three decks in a 12-hour stream. That's just all I know for, for now. We're, we'll, we'll play more decks, though. Um, it's pretty unlikely we're going to have lots of creatures in play to sacrifice with them being a burn deck. Go ahead and take out Priest. And uh, I guess the other... No, I guess that's 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 good right there. Okay. That's good. Yeah, there's so many decks to play. So many things to be doing here. Oh, this hand is great. We got Shield Mare and two White Sources. Lucky. We are going to have to take some damage, though. We wouldn't have to, but I feel like it's probably worth it. <laughs> Attack. Uh, no attacks. Um, I should have just played. I should just play uh, Shockland in there and pass. Honestly. Yeah, I should have just played Shockland and tapped to pass. Um, but now it's too late. Eh. Alright, so they got three cards left. I'm really glad we actually get to trade Fiend for the Lava Runner. Because, um, you know, like a Chain Whirler wouldn't be able to trade. Do I want to Mortify that? 
Hmm. Yeah. So, I'm assuming our opponent has Experimental Frenzy if they're just firing that off. Um, oh, another Mortify is a good draw. Got any ideas for a Mirror March deck? Not really. No, I haven't, haven't really thought about a Mirror March deck. So we'll have two shield mirrors next turn to, to block. Steamkin, real good. Yeah, it looks like they're debating whether or not to play their frenzy with the Steamkin mana. Oh, it's Banefire? Yuck. Well. Hmm. Banefire. You say. But don't play War Boss. And play some drill bits, bedevil, two bedevils, two bedevil, two drill bit. Yeah. Um, would I recommend the Mardu Angels to grind? Um, I think the Mardu Angels is, is pretty good against aggro decks. Uh, game one, you're going to be pretty bad against control decks. I don't know if it's the best deck to, to grind with for... I don't know. We we did really well with it, you know. Um, but I think we're kind of... I think we were getting pretty fortunate with that, and, and maybe it wasn't as good. That's what it seemed. Alright, Blood Crypt is nice. That lets us be able to get these other check lands in untapped. And it's also our second black source for Bedevil. So that was certainly a good draw. Zerf! Thank you so much. Gifting five subs out. So we are already starting with five subs on the day. So congratulations, Sam, Andy, Pag, Seclore, and Maverge for the gifted subs. We get some hype boats in the chat for Zerf. All right, let's play a Pontiff. All right, that gets us to five subs on the day. What angel deck do I like like the most? I liked Slesnia Angels the most last format, but again, that that was last format. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure exactly what angel deck I like the most this format. You know, it's just, you know, it's like. We're just so early into playing this format. I just don't. I don't really know. You know, we're, we're still trying new things and everything. I don't really have decks I like the most right now. Hey, Sabuku. Good morning. Uh, Rakdos demons or other angels decks today? Maybe. I don't really have a whole. You know, I only have three decks on the schedule right now. We're kind of we'll kind of play it by ear after this. Is there an Abzan Aristocrats deck with Journey to Eternity, perhaps? Absolutely. Yeah, you'd, you'd want to play a whole lot more grindy version of the deck. But yeah, you, we have better sack outlets for that. That could certainly be a deck. So that's why I was playing Judith there, because if Judith died, we'd be able to kill their 2-1. Come to thoughts on Jund vs. Gruul. Not particularly. So we take two, kill both their creatures. 
and have a Pontiff in play. Or I could take two, kill both their creatures, and have a Judith in play. I guess Judith is a better card to have in play than Pontiff. Hmm. Keeping Pontiff is better if we draw Menagerie. If we draw Menagerie, we can get, like, the three creatures back. If we... Yeah, I'll keep... I'll keep Judith, though. <laughs> oh, that drill bit could have been a war boss. War boss would have been so much better here. So the Bedevil would have been a war boss also. I just took out war bosses for these two cards. Uh, so that's the that was the problem with keeping Judith. Having the other pontiff in play is certainly better. Um But we we do get two die triggers from just putting the Judith in play. Yeah, we're good. All right. We cast Gruesome Menagerie in two games, and those are the two games we won. Probably no correlation there. All right, we're getting a pack here because Zerf. Zerf, would it be possible for you to play the Jeskai deck a bit later today? Be MIA from 2 to 5 Eastern. Yeah, absolutely. So, okay. So, later on. All right, so we'll get Jeskai Legends. That'll be a deck for later. All right. Um, so let's get a pack. So we'll play it after five o'clock. All right. What do we open it up? Precognitive perception. Cards maybe a little underrated. I like that card quite a bit. It is really good and sealed. All right, two and one. All right, so we're gonna be playing Hidana Stompy. What else are we making today? Ugh. So we're certainly playing Jeskai Legends later as a donation deck. Um, we'll kind of see what else we want to play today. Not sure yet. Not sure yet. I liked playing Naya Value yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Um, the, the Ooze deck was a lot of fun, too. The Sultai deck. too excited about that soul tie deck I do want to play a gruel deck today I want to play a gruel um yeah I certainly want to play a gruel deck um With, you know, just lots of creatures. I'm <laughs> trying to brew, brew Bant Flash so far. It's just Wrath and Thrilled Mystic. I understand that life. 3-1 of my draft. This game, my opponent concedes the series. After playing two land in two turns, the very first game of best of three. The dream. Okay, so we can go Fiend. Judith. So I, I could sacrifice Judith and Fiend and kill Llanowar Elf and make them sacrifice. Um, 
Wait. Would I be able to... Wait, would I be able to kill Land of Warlock, kill Growth Chamber, and kill Goblin, I guess? Because, wait, if I... If I do that... With that trigger, Fiend would... Fiend would kill the Elf. Judith would trigger twice to kill the Chamber Guardian. That's probably worth it. Because growth chamber, I can't handle growth chamber guardian basically at all. So I think that's probably worth it. Yeah. Domri. Let's just have a look, shall we? All right, how many creatures you got over there, opponent? Ah, uh, they got two. Druid and Ravager Worm. Those are tough, too. All right, so let's go to combat. Attack that thing. Play Gutter Bones. No reason to make them sacrifice yet. We'll be able to make them sacrifice next turn. Or I guess, I guess we're doing it like on upkeep. I guess we just attack next turn. So I, I should have just attacked with the priest. Or maybe not. Alright, attack, attack. Alright, you lose two lives, sack a creature. So this would cost four. We'd discard our hand, draw three. I want to keep the Pontiff um, in play. Or, like, I want to keep the, the mana for the Pontiff up. This is probably going to kill the Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Yep. Priest down. Ooh, that was my first time seeing the Ravager Worm animation. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let's play that. Um, wait, can I, can I look at my graveyard? Are you kidding me? Why can't I just look at my graveyard? Hmm. It's going to make this difficult to play. I'm trying to click this Judith at the very bottom of the graveyard, see if it works. I'm guessing it's not working. You have to click the little blue lines to see. I'm trying. Below it. Yeah, I got a gutter bones picked and the priest picked. Uh, 
Try canceling. There's no there's no cancel. That's all, I'm hoping it picks automatically for me if I time out. Sweet. It picked automatically for me if I timed out, but it just passed it passed the turn though. So that wasn't as cool, but So I, di I didn't get to attack, which of course I wanted to attack, but I did put the things in play. Um, somebody told me earlier that yesterday the menagerie was bugged, so I guess that's the bug. Z is cancel. Oh, that's true. So maybe if I would have just hit Z for like the undo, that maybe that would have done something. All right. Plague Mare kills Lanwar Elf. Doesn't do a whole lot else. Uh, Drill Bit's probably okay against them with the big creatures. If we need it. Maybe just a keeping this the same, though. Kind of like our deck. Hey, Darth. Good morning. If you're brewing Mardu Control, what wind conditions would you use? Um... Definitely Dawn of Hope. And maybe Captive Audience. I like I like um What's it called? Uh The Immortal Sun quite a bit in that deck. I'm not sure if that counts as a win condition. Um Now we can block with Fiend and kill the Llanowar Elf. Well, Priest, you need, you know, you need, like, the other creatures in play for Priest to, to do any work. And I was pretty worried about having other creatures in play. Like, a lot of other creatures in play for Priest. I could certainly... Um, I could certainly see it being a four of. be kind of tough. Tight Thaker's good. We get to double block here and trade with something. Is there any promising Orzhov token stacks going around? I haven't seen any myself, but that doesn't mean that it's not a possibility. I just haven't seen any myself. All right, hopefully we get to actually use Menagerie this time. Hopefully this works. Okay, it works this time. So we got Fiend. I think I want the Reveler back, I think. I think I want to cycle this Goblet Shrine away. Mass how does the card mass manipulation work? Um you you choose a number for the X and you pay that number how many times? You 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 have to play four blue, and then if you want to take if you want to gain control of one target creature or player, you would pay You're gonna hurt one twice. So you, so four blue plus one twice would be six total mana. Riptal Raptor is amazing with with Riot. That's a pretty good one. 
So we're taking four. Hmm. Riptar Raptor's gonna be a tough card to beat. Leaving back five, yeah, leaving back all these things to block the Ripshaw Raptor. I just want to trade with it, even though they get to draw a card. But I get to draw a card as well. I want to keep my life total high. Yeah, Esper Control certainly could be a thing. I mean, you have Kaya's Wrath and Teferi. Like, that certainly can be a deck. Usually takes a little longer to, to make control decks in new formats, because you kind of need to know more about what the formats, what's going on in the format. No one knows the wilds like I do. Yeah, this deck, I've been really liking this deck. I've been pretty impressed with it. Helps to keep on drawing gruesome menageries. Certainly a little worried about... Um... About the Midnight Reaper killing us. Just a tad I've worried there. Worse. I'm not sure if we need more Bedevils in the sideboard, honestly. It's possible. <clears throat> it's certainly possible. We also may need just like Lava Coils. I got more of those. I don't have one I don't have a one mana card in my library now. I have Tithe Taker, so I could get Tithe Taker plus War Boss. Oh I, maybe I should have shocked in. I'm worried about dying though. I kind of don't want to even play this Midnight Reaper. I probably should have just played Menagerie this turn and gotten War Boss and Tithe Taker more than just playing the other War Boss. Well, dang. Is that game? It's probably game. I think that's game. I didn't. I didn't do no counting. But that seems like that's a, a lot of damage. Our deck is sweet. All right, three and one. This deck's pretty pretty cool. Grusa Menagerie with these cards is, is pretty awesome. <clears throat> I do I like our opponent's deck though. I, do, I certainly want to play some kind of Jun deck also. We lost to Jeskai Control. We had like some really bad mana troubles, like where we couldn't hit a third land drop one game and then drew like nine lands the other game. Like nine nine lands real early. Like nine lands out of like, you know, thirteen cards. Hmm. Alright, we just have two drop, two drop. Tad awkward. More two drops. Yeah, the deck list you can find um, right here. So Azor's Gateway. I 
If I play Priest right now, I can activate it next turn. Do I need to... I probably don't need to activate it next turn, though. Didn't your mother t tell you to stay away from gateway drugs? Like Azor. And there. Azorius ways. Attack. This looks like Glitch's Mastery. Oh, maybe. It could be. Could certainly be that. I don't really know what's going to go on here. Alright. <clears throat> I wish this was like, they sacrifice a creature or discard a card. Like, if they can't, they discard a card kind of thing. You know, like, I wish it was like Plague Crafter, where you could activate Priest and make them discard a card. We will rebuild. You can, even if you deafening Clary on us. It's a growth spiral. Really like to draw basically any three drop. Any three drop would be a good draw. Any of them. Yeah, we got 11 of them in the deck. I'll take any of the 11. Mm. It's not the worst. Oh, I should have done this. I should have done this just pre-combat. Because we could we could hit the three drop. Because I'm gonna just discard the priest. Okay, we didn't hit didn't hit the three drop. I should have done that pre-combat though. Because we could have got like Judith or War Boss. <clears throat> It's a million dollar deck. We could rebuild him. We have the technology. Alright, so they got 0, 2, and 3. Close to flipping this gateway. We're down to two cards, though. It's not many cards. Perfect. No! Uh, I did not play around Sell the Wreckage at all. I probably could have. Certainly could have. I should not have played that basic either because Gruesome Menagerie back the... Oh no, the Reveler is gone. But if we draw a Reveler. Alright, so right now I can only get a 2-drop in play. I mean, Militia Bugler is kind of good for the deck, but I, I don't think there's really room. I think you're wanting to be a little more aggressive than Militia Bugler, but it is like a, a pretty decent card for the deck. Um, I don't think I want Bugler over the other three drops, though. War Boss, Judith, and uh, Midnight Reaper. I think those those ones are real important. Of the decks you've played so far, what looked the best so far for you. Uh, the Naya Value deck that we played that was really impressive. Growth Chamber Guardian in that deck with a Johnny was very impressive.
It's early in the morning. I I did attack into a cell of wreckage there. Hadn't played against a cell of wreckage in a very long time. That's early in the morning. I've flown on jail force. The search right after I clicked the attack all attack, stuff. I thought about it, but it was, you know, a second too late. And they had it. So just moving on. Yep, lots of rare lands in this kind of deck. Uh, nothing feels broken. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye bye. Yeah, certainly pain certainly possible to get Bane fired here. Yeah, we haven't haven't decided what the other decks are. Yeah. We'll see. I, I really enjoyed playing Quasi Dupla Ooze yesterday and Naya Value. I really liked those decks quite a bit. I could see Electro Dominance. I could see that. So our opponent can add, like, this This land can add 18 mana to their mana pool. Um, so any kind of X spell kills us. <clears throat> No, I haven't played any Abzan Tokens deck. The only decks we played were just the decks from yesterday and now today. I haven't, um, haven't really played a whole lot yet. Um, you know, that's what that's what we're doing now. Yep, yesterday's decks are up on YouTube. Yep, they're there. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. Trust me, you'll thank Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, you can find the deck lists on Stream Decker. Yeah. I don't know why our opponent doesn't just, like, they just have a, another one of those in their hand, I guess. Alright, so here comes the drill bits. Um, theaters, the devils for the planeswalkers. Kind of like Mortify for the enchantments, too. But I, I don't know if that's really the, the battle we need to fight. Um, so Priest comes on out. Menagerie comes on out. Then I need to cut some three drops. I could just get rid of Foot Light Fiend, actually. Yeah, we'll get rid of two Foot Light Fiends. And a Judith. Okay. Uh, I like Pitiless Pontiff. I like that quite that card still. Wish we had like a more efficient way to kind of deal with the um, the enchantments. Like this would be a really really good Cinder Vines deck, um, and a really good Cinder Vines matchup. But we don't have it. All right, so we're gonna go Tithe Taker into War Boss. Pontiff works really well with Judith to like just we can kind of ping them out with the sacrifice effect 
and kind of like we can attack into a settle the wreckage and then sacrifice our creatures if they do cast the settle kind of thing. No, no spawn of mayhem in the deck. Um, spawn of mayhem, of course, is a really good card. Um, but doesn't work too well with gruesome menagerie. Is what we're kind of doing here. Have you seen the Bant Lizard Flash deck? No, I've not seen that at all. I don't. Don't have any real opinions on it. Yeah, basically Aristocrat's archetype is sacrifice. A uh, bunch of like small, cheaper creatures that you don't really mind dying. And then it makes your opponent's removal spells a little worse. Well, if they, we got, we got enough power. Like, if they play a sweeper here, like a deafening clarion, they're dead. <clears throat> it doesn't let you attack with all with the war boss trigger for some reason. It's not a good design, but that's how it is. With like the war boss, like they're like this one creature has to attack. Oh, tokens don't trigger Judith's other part. So, so they would have taken five and gone to one. They, well, they still would have been dead to the afterlife token that the Tithe Taker would make. They would have taken five, gone to one. And then Tithe Taker token would finish them off for the six point damage. So, Clay around there still dead. Oh, what deck have you enjoyed the most so far? Yuck. Gosh. Man. I was really close to just keeping that first hand. So how good the mana was. And with <clears throat> with three draw steps, and then Rick's like Rick's Mahdi on turn two, and then three draw steps. By turn three, we we, we see four new cards, um, and we, you know we gotten a lot of lands out of the deck. Like it was, it was a good chance that we had like a, a three drop to follow up Rick's Mahdi with. I honestly didn't really hate that first hand. It wasn't you know spectacular, but I didn't hate it. In a deck like this, when you're when you're playing a low land count deck like this, a low land count and three color deck, mulliganing is really hard on this kind of deck. Well, our four-card hand is still pretty good. We got Tithe Taker into Theater Horrors. It's good for a four-card hand. Certainly a lot better than what our five-card hand would have been. I never go to, like, three. Three's, three's kind of impossible to win. I think you kind of have to keep four. Hey, Wee Doc. I could just discard the hand and draw three. I'm actually I'm, let's go and do that.
It's a lot of growth spirals. Got a lot of lands in play. We take another turn, but they only have only have two cards now. One card. It's not a lot of cards. I don't believe anything in in the I don't think that the mulligan rule should change myself. I was saying that every single person believes the mulligan rule should change. I don't think there should be anything that should change about the mulligan rule. Do we need to put another card out there? Yeah, might as well. All right, we still get two afterlife tokens. I think the I don't think this I don't think that so it's Remodi. I don't think Remodi has saved the game single-handedly. Theater of Horrors has had a lot to do with this game. Theater of Horrors has been incredible. But yeah, com a combination of those two cards for sure. That's not bad. <clears throat> we got um, got a seller wreckage out of their hand with just a couple afterlife tokens. This is looking pretty good for us. Looking pretty good for us. On our mold of four, with our opponent just having all these lands. Oh, opponent getting punished for just playing that last land. They don't have that land to discard. Well, they found another land there. Shall I? And destroy that. Hmm. Four, four. Oh, we have a theater horrors also. Another one. Nice. I thought it was double land that we got there earlier. Whenever you know, I was looking at him. All right, we're gonna be able to ping him once. It's gonna be really tough for our opponent to win this game. Yeah, I'm gonna theater poke him here. Anything to do pre-combat? No. All right, well, I'm gonna play Midnight Reaper and then I'll just play the Reveler with uh, Spectacle. Discard our hand, draw three. Let's get some Footlight Fiends out here. Our deck is sweet. <clears throat> Man, our Mold of Four was really good. We had turn three theater on our Mold of Four, and theater just just took over the game. Cause yeah, thirty theater. I think yeah, theater found the reveler, right? That also drew into like another theater. Yeah, we just had two drop into theater, and that was 
Good enough with our opponent really flooding out. Our opponent had all those growth spirals. They had all four growth spirals, but they just kind of drew a lot of lands off them. All right, 4-1, final boss. Todd with the good luck for the final boss there. Thanks, Todd James. You have two feet of snow on your car? Oh, that's miserable. That's where you just don't go anywhere. Sorry, work. Two feet of snow on the car. See you next month. All right, we need another land. Come on, deck. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's a good, a good day though. You get to be here all day. I like it. That's a, that's a good day. All right, we got the land. So I could certainly see this being a Drake deck. Um, what do I want to play against the Drake deck? I think I want to play the Tithe Taker. I don't want my Priest of the For like I want Priest of the Forgotten Gods in play, but I don't want Priest of the Forgotten Gods to get shocked. So we're at so it's like a little awkward there. Maybe I just play Priest though. Maybe I should have just played Priest. If I play Judith, they can't block. Well, they can still block the f the Footlight Fiend, right? No, they cannot block the Footlight Fiend. You're right. Okay, yeah, let's play Judith. Well, not you. I was thinking they could still block the Fiend. But no, we get the other trick. I forgot about the Judith trigger. Okay, so let's... Win with the trade. Yeah, we we uh, made Jund mid range into just like Jund aggro, basically. So I can play Pontiff, sack the Fiend, and kill the Drake. Let's go ahead and do that. Sacrifice this creature. Okay. Opponent's picking up the cards. The priest has done some cool things. For sure. I've, I've liked it at times. Um, this is a tough matchup for us, I think, just kind of in general. I don't really deal with the big flying drakes very well, and they can just race us. Um, yeah, my least favorite card, Drill Bit. Um, Drill Bit could be a good card here. So it could, like, Mortify Bedevil. Like, maybe just want the the removal spells. The problem, like, I, I really like Priest in this matchup, but the problem is it dies to Shock. I guess we still just play it, even though it, it dies to Shock. Like, maybe I just don't even play these things. Maybe I just kind of play our, our main deck. Hmm. I should probably be playing the removal spells. I guess I'm cutting Midnight Reaper then. I just don't even know what to what to cut. I have to cut like three drops, but all my three drops are good. Uh, Tithe Taker may be like one of my worst cards.
I guess I could just get rid of War Boss. Alright, we'll get rid of War Boss. Yeah, we can get rid of War Boss. Okay. Yeah. Theater of Horrors is a monster late game, but this isn't really a late game matchup because the Drakes kill you so ridiculously fast that this is not really a, a matchup where we can sit back forever with Theater of Horrors. Can I get that land back, please? Gonna be discarding one of the Judiths. Yeah, Shield Mirror is cyborg against burn. Yep. Alright, no Drake right now. That's good. You know, we're definitely working towards this gruesome menagerie. Oh yeah, Cyborg definitely needs some work, for sure. Pontiff is basically just unkillable, which I really like, once we have another creature in play. Yeah, you could certainly make a deck like this without playing white. Um, yeah, you would you'd definitely change stuff up. Like, maybe you're not Gruesome Menagerie at that point. I mean, I mean, you could just play Rakdos Aggro. You know, like, Rakdos Aggro is a very reasonable deck. How are they doing over here on spells? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so they have infinite spells. Come on, Resolve. Oh, baby. They let that resolve. I guess I only have one ping. They just untap. Because they can adapt. Yeah. I only have one ping. I only have one mana. Yeah, because they can untap and just adapt with all this mana and then adapt again. Yeah, I can't I can't stop that. Just one mana adapt. Hmm. Gonna sack Judith. Yeah, I'm gonna sack Judith so I can keep, so I can keep the token alive. <clears throat> Do I want to chump block with this though? I really want to draw a land. I 
Yeah, if we let it all die, we Judith the Lizard, but I think Pontiff is is good enough to not need to do that. Tilt. So they have another fiery cannonade? Okay, good. That would have been a rough fiery cannonade if they did that in response to the pontiff getting... Um, gaining indestructible. I'll block with that one. We got another one. Alright, come on land. Oh boy. We only get a two and a three drop back. So we get... Um, I don't really need to cycle the the thing, so we're going to get Tithe Taker and Judith. Now I wish I didn't block, but oh well. We blocked. I think we're still doing real good. Hey, Balding Yeti, it's going really well. Going really well. Is this a new camera angle? Is it? Do you? I don't know. It's just, it's you know we're in during the day like this. This light is really bright in the back. All right, final boss defeated. Mardu aristocrats, real impressive. Five one. We got ooh, we got a new rare and we got twenty gems. Yeah, I really liked our Mardu aristocrat deck. That's true. If I did block, then yeah, we would have got a spell for sure. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, you can message me about stuff, Zilla. All right, let's see what our rare was. Well, uncommon was a sheltering light, whatever. So this was some rare that we already had, that already had four of. So that's why it's twenty gems. And rampage of the clans. Hey, that's a Ravnica allegiance rare, also. So that's um, you know, that makes our packs a little better. Nice. All right. Well, let's open up a pack to since we got we got two of these packs here. Let's open up one of them to celebrate getting a five one. Seems like a good pack to celebrate a five one. A smothering tithe. Oh man, I want to play this card. I mean, that, I don't know. I don't know exactly where we're gonna put this card, but I want to play that card. That card seems pretty sweet. So. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just crack it open. Ravager Worm! Nice, we don't have to use a wild card on that one later. Yeah, it is a bad land tax, but land tax is really broken <laughs> as a card. As a one mana card. So. Okay, Ugh. so next next deck up is going to be Hadana Stompy, which let's update this with uh, with some with our RNA cards. Um, the team the team of Vanifer list that I have on here was Jeff Hoogland's list. Uh, somebody somebody Jeff Hoogland's team of Vanifer list. That's the one I have on here. What has been your favorite deck so far? Um, and I haven't played it all or anything yet. Uh, we may play that later. I may change some stuff. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian absolutely coming on in here. 
Uh, Girls Chamber Guardian is certainly a four of. Um, and I, I kind of want to just play a lot of the oozes. The ooze card's been sweet. Biogenic ooze. We get those in here. Um, maybe a couple of Zaganas. Also. Galta's out. I think Nullhide Ferox is out. That's 63. Man, I wanted to play these 60. I wanted to play this list here. I will just go three Vivian. Hmm. No, I don't really want Prime Speaker Vanifar. We have this Elf Crab. Steel Leaf out of here? I don't think I take out Steel Leaf. Steel Leaf is really good. We could play Frilled Mystic. We could just take out Steel Leaf for Frilled Mystic, yeah. I mean, that, that just... Yeah, we could. This is 64. Hmm. Maybe we don't play Wild Growth Walker? Yeah, maybe Wild Growth Walker just goes to the sideboard. Dive Down's really good, though. Is that too many 5-drops? Maybe I need to cut some 5-drops. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm still recording for the, the YouTube video for the Mardu Aristocrats. Anyway, Mardu Aristocrats was great. Thanks for watching there. We're going to be building this up for the next deck, so click on over to the next YouTube video to watch some Hadana Stompy here in a little bit. So thanks for watching.